Hello, I'm editor of PTI Richard Joy. Welcome to the inaugural PTI Newscast, a fortnightly programme that brings to you a roundup of the biggest stories of the week, insight from industry experts and features into ports around the world. And I'm Fergus March. In this newscast we'll be speaking to key industry figures on the biggest sector trends and aiming to provide you with the insight you require in a quick and handy format. The top stories this week. After calling at the port of Los Angeles in late December 2015, the 18,000 TEU CMA CGM Benjamin Franklin became the largest ship to call in the US in history. The call is being heralded as the introduction of the US into the megaship era. I recently spoke to Executive Director of the Port of LA, Gene Soroka, on handling big ships. The maritime industry is undergoing profound change. And as we see larger ships put into waterborne deployments in the Pacific trade, we have to be proactive in the way we manage the cargo through the conveyance process. Part of that is our approach today. Three areas of focus, land use, process management, and bringing technology to the port complex. Due to the lack of information surrounding the imminent global container weighing rule, which will come into effect on July the 1st this year, European shippers are urging governments to clarify how the IMO's new rule can be met. In order to clarify the situation, Richard spoke to Simon Everett, Managing Director of Load Measurement Specialist, Strainstall. Once the VGM is defined, and there are different methods for actually obtaining a VGM, it is actually the shipper's responsibility to obtain the VGM. So, once the VGM has been obtained, either via a method prior to arriving at the port, or the ports may offer this as a service, then the storage plan can be run using that VGM, and then it will go on from there. And don't forget you can watch more of that interview on the PTI website. MSC has resumed vessel operations in Iran after services were suspended in 2012 in response to international trade sanctions. A 9,400 TU MSC vessel called at the southern Iranian port of Shahid Rajay, marking the beginning of regular calls for MSC and paving the way for continuing business with Iran. Weak demand, caused by a lack of a peak season in the shipping market, has caused the world's busiest ports to see the slowest rate of growth since the 2009 global recession. The port of Jakarta and the port of Hamburg were amongst the ports to see the biggest drops in traffic, with volumes falling 16.6% and 9.2% respectively. Our insight for this episode focuses on port automation. Automation is often used as a blanket term in the port industry, making it increasingly tricky to define what it is we mean when we are talking about it in a broad context. With this in mind, I recently spoke to TBA founder and director, Dr. Ivo Sarnan, and asked him how we can break automation down as a concept into more distinct areas. Hi Ivo, uh, thanks for coming in to see us today. Firstly, I want to ask you, automation is a term that's used quite loosely in the modern port and terminal industry. Uh, could you break down for us exactly what people mean when they say automation? When, when we talk about automation, uh, many people think immediately of robots and machines that automate, uh, operate automatically. However, when we look at automation, we see three different areas. Areas that also have already gone through different phases of development. Um, I would say most established is process automation. Things like automated gates, tracking and tracing of um, machinery, containers, um, inside and outside terminals. Second area is automated decision making. Something that has been going on already quite long, however, not yet very well spread. Uh, so we're thinking of automated planning, um, vessel planning, yard planning, there's still a lot of manual processes going on leading to a lot less quality that can be achieved with uh, today's technology. Thirdly is robotization, so actually implementing machines that automatically move containers. Started with automated yard cranes uh, of various types, uh, meanwhile quite well spread uh, across the world already. Automated vehicles, so transportation vehicles that, that um, operate without a driver, 
and now recently automated key cranes. Uh, that's the next step. And maybe we'll see in the future also automated trucks, road trucks, automated vessels. Um, that's definitely uh, the trend. And that's all for this edition. You can keep up to date with all the latest news, interviews and video content on the PTI website. Thank you for watching. Thanks.